If you're a college student, you know how to get creative when you want to save money. One thing you can do is live in an apartment like this. Students at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, Virginia tend to live off campus after their freshman year. Many look for a place with cheap rent, close proximity to campus, and good amenities. An indoor balcony generally isn't on the list. You ever heard the term liminal space before? This is a liminal space. I have heard of that term, yeah. The term liminal space is often used to describe a place with an atmosphere of change or transition. Examples include stairwells, roads, corridors, hotel hallways, and the infamous back rooms. These spaces are said to make you feel comfortable and uneasy at the same time. <laughs> I think it's odd, it's surreal, it's the back rooms. Some residents choose to adorn their balconies with ornaments of their culture. They have like the, what's her name, like Nicki Minaj on it in front of the American flag. That one, that one popped off on like TikTok like, a few times, I think. There's this one video of some chick like, where am I? Am I in prison, you know? TikTok videos like these give us a glimpse of the unusual building layout, but how do residents really feel about living here? You ever feel uncomfortable walking yeah, around here? Yeah, it's a little odd, definitely. When I wake up for class, it's kind of a bad feeling to see the same layout of a school building. That feeling is probably due to the use of the same fluorescent lighting, ceiling tiles, and flooring that is installed in most classroom settings. Do you prefer these lights to, let's say, natural light? I can't, I can't say I do, I can't say I do. You're not a fan of the fluorescent lighting? As, as pleasant as it is, it's definitely a, uh, puts a damper on my well-being. What's the first word that comes to mind when you walk in here on any given day? Uh, when you first walk in, a lot of people say prison. Psych ward's a common one. Um, Okay. At this point, it's just home. <laughs> you may be wondering, why would students choose to live in this liminal space if they find it so off-putting? How much is the rent here? Really cheap. Really? <laughs> yeah, we pay like, just for rent, which comes with like water, it's like 440. Yeah, it's like nothing. Included in that $440 are a range of security features. Do you feel a lot safer with security cameras going 24 seven in here? Honestly? I, I don't feel unsafe in here to begin with, but the security cameras I think are a little creepy if anything, because like, we don't just have the one back, there. there's literally so many scattered throughout here. I like how they're all different. Yeah, and the, especially the ones in the stairwell down there, I don't know if you've been down no, there. No, I have not. The back entrance is even weirder than coming in through there. The back entrance did seem secure, covered by multiple security cameras. Only one question remains unanswered. Why are the balconies indoors. Why are the balconies actually, inside? I actually know the answer to that. Okay. Um, technically, I think it's Virginia Tech law or something like that, that each room has to have a window or a way of accessing like an outdoor kind of section and this, this qualifies apparently. So they're expecting people to just leap off the balconies in case of a fire? Probably. <laughs> so can you picture yourself jumping off of here in the case of a fire? Well, actually, yeah. It's not that far of a fall. Just tuck and roll, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah can, you can make it. I can make it. Tuck and roll, maybe. Tuck and roll, maybe and roll. slide a little on the way down. Each day on their way to class, these students pass through a liminal space, comforted only by the flags they hang on their indoor balconies.